Any time I have seen a computer come out of a shipping case and not work the first time. Now, before I make that 800 number call to the manufacturer looking for some on-site service, first thing I do, pull a cover off, pull the boards out, reseat them. I don't even clean them. I don't even push the chips in the sockets because I assume, maybe it's a dumb assumption, but I assume the computer's been tested by the vendor. But in the process of getting FedExed to my business place, well, you know, the computer gets a little bit of shake, rattle, and roll, and that can be enough to make one board come out just a little bit. You know, and if you get a board that's not plugged in quite right, if it's sitting a little bit askew, it can produce one of those short circuits that brings on the crowbar circuit and the power supply, thereby keeping the system from running at all. Turn the machine on, it goes The cursor blinks at me, and it says something like disk boot failure. That's not a dead machine. It's like, is the fan whirring? Now, are any lights lit up on the front of the PC? That's an easy one to figure out. You know, things like that. I'll take a quick peek at my monitor. Sure sounds like it's booting, doesn't it? Booted right up. Well, let's see. We know the video board is not the culprit. And we know that the hard disk controller board is not the culprit. So we're down to the last board. And we still haven't recreated the PC failure. Does that mean we've captured the culprit? Does that necessarily mean this guy's the bad guy? By no means. Let's try it out. And now we'll power it up and see if we caught the bad board. Sounds good so far. Sounds like it's booting. Sure enough, that's not what killed the PC. Look at that. It worked. What killed the PC in the first place, then? More than likely, you had a loose connection. Odd as it sounds, sometimes all a PC needs is just a little attention. Don't we all?